Hello, my friends, your buddy Phil here, project management trainer and coach. We often get questions from students. What do I do now that I'm a PMP? What do I do to get to that next level? And one of the things I tell them is to get to the next level, you need to be a real success. And for that reason, one of the curricula that I've introduced to our Project Leadership Institute is this curriculum from none other than my mentor, and my coach, John C. Maxwell, who has coached me in all things leadership. And in fact, at our Project Leadership Institute, John happened to be our keynote speaker. John gave us a very, very sound keynote on what it means to be a real success. So let me take you back in time to our keynote. We're gonna to listen to what John has to say about being a real success. Hi, John Maxwell. I'm saying hello to my friend, Phil Akinwale and Prezion. I am excited to be with you today at your Project Leaders Institute. And thank you for honoring me with our time together. And I hope that what I share today will truly lift you as project leaders to a higher level. I know that's Phil's desire. I'm so proud of him being a John Maxwell team member. And uh, all of our John Maxwell team members, uh, when we certify them, they have a great desire to, to just make a difference, to come alongside and add value. And that's what Phil wants to do to you. And that's what I want to do for you today. So I would like to talk to you on the subject how to be a real success. You see, if I could walk into your life right now, I mean, if we were just able to be together, and if I ask each one of you, if you wanted to be successful, every one of you, you'd raise your hands and say, yeah, John, I, I wanna be successful. But if I stop for a moment and ask you to define success, here's what I know. If we have a, a, a group of 100 people and ask that question, there would be at least 20, 25 different definitions of success. So the question that we're going to talk about today to build on what my awesome mentor and coach has started sharing with you is how can you be a success? What is success? Now, I would like you to take a minute and maybe put it somewhere down in the comments below or to the side, whichever medium you're watching. But my question to you is, what is success? Success is essentially three things. And I want you to remember this formula. I'm gonna give you a formula for success, so don't go away. I'll give you a formula, but I want you to first of all think and answer it yourself. And then I'm gonna show you John's success formula. Are you ready? What is success? Success is three things in essence. Success in a nutshell is knowing your purpose in life. Why am I here? To know your purpose in life, you probably have thought about it already and giving it great thought and let it marinate. And then you realize what you're good at, where your strength lies, what gives you energy, what gives you joy. The next thing is growing to your maximum potential. And the last one, it might surprise you, but it is sowing seeds that add value to others. So I want you to remember this formula. I call it the no grow so formula. Knowing your purpose in life. Imagine getting to the end of life and finding out that you totally missed the boat. That's no good. It reminds me of a 70 year old who realized that he didn't wanna be in corporate America where he had a lot of success. No, no, no. All he wanted to do was own a hot dog stand, meet people, greet people, talk to people and enjoy his life like that. To him, that was his calling. So knowing your purpose in life is tremendous, it's huge. Getting certified in one thing or another is great, but it is not tantamount to success. 
The second pillar, grow into your maximum potential. Growth is happiness. It's one thing to get certified, but it's another thing to grow beyond the certification to your maximum potential. And my question to you is, what are you doing to grow to your maximum potential? And my mentor, John Maxwell, he says one thing, that everything rises and falls on leadership. And that's why I formed the Project Leadership Institute to help take project managers getting certified, get into one level, but not get into their optimum level to get to their optimum level, their maximum. And you know, if we're really growing to our maximum potential, we don't ever stop because there's always room for growth. The last one that we see on the screen here is sowing seeds that add value to others. What is value? Well, you're project management students and you know the project management body of knowledge guide on page 33. It tells you what exactly value is all about. If there's value, there are benefits. Benefits is that net quantifiable amount of value that you derive from a product, service, or result. So when we talk about sowing seeds, it must add value to someone else. The great Zig Ziglar once said to John Maxwell, he said to him, John, if you will help people get what they want, they will help you get what you want. So I want you to remember this, know, grow, and sow. When you know why you're here, what your mission is, what your objectives are, what your goals are, you've got a vision for the future, that is part one. Part two is growing to be able to fulfill that and beyond. And lastly, sowing those seeds. Now you have an idea of what it means to be a success. Why don't we talk about how to be a real success? How do you become a real success? It's in the acronym that John formed, relationships with people, equipping people, attitudes to people, towards people, and the aspect of leadership. And that is exactly what we cover in our curriculum, how to be a real success. When you come aboard our program, you will follow us daily, weekly, monthly, year round, by thinking about these very important pillars of relationships, equipping, attitude, and leadership. The Stanford Research Institute did a survey way back. They did some research and they discovered that success in business is 87 and a half percent about relationships and only 12 and a half percent about the product. Think about that. Success in life, success in your business, success as a project manager, it is contingent, not on your certification, no, but on your relationships. And that's why when we read books such as the book many of you read to get certified, you know, you, you read this book, many of you read this and other people read older editions, but you realize that in this version, they talk about the top 2% of project managers as voted by their bosses and their peers are those who exhibit superior relationship skills. Do I need to open up the page? Maybe I should. Let's open up the page here. So follow me in your PMBOK guide to page 53. I wanna read it directly to you. Research shows that successful project managers consistently and effectively use certain essential skills. Research reveals that the top 2% of project managers as designated by their bosses and team members distinguish themselves by demonstrating superior relationship and communication skills while displaying a positive attitude. Now think about that. Let's map that back to John's awesome curriculum here. And I want to leave you with this thought. 
this REAL is relationships, equipping, attitude. You see, two of those essential pillars for success as a project manager are covered in this curriculum. And that is why I want to encourage you, I want to invite you, go on down to projectleadershipinstitute.com and find out more about our program. This program is built on solid principles, practices, and ideas, relationships, equipping, attitude, leadership. And then on top of that, there's a whole lot more based on a curricula developed from multiple standards and ideologies espoused by the Project Management Institute. But the true measure of leadership is influence. When you come on this program, you will learn how to be a success, how to lead, and of course, influence will come with a package. You become more influential, you become more of a leader. And everything that you do as a project manager towards success will be built on solid leadership principles, practices, and ideas. Okay, so for those who do wanna sign up, who do wanna know a little bit more, I wanna encourage you, go on down to the website. It's just that simple, projectleadershipinstitute.com. When you get on down to the website, you'll learn more about the unique curriculum that we have. And not only will you learn how to be a real success, you'll learn about communications, you'll learn about cognitive ability, professionalism, a lot of content. All right, so go on down to Project Leadership Institute, sign up, but don't forget, know, grow, and sow. Wish you all the best, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.